Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to show you how to make a full meal in the Dutch oven, easy way. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, for the meat part of the dish today, we're using chicken thighs awesome okay you could use four i only have three uh, we're going to use the number 12 big dutch oven right here for the meat we got some cubed up uh that's a jowl bacon we're not going to use all that this is going to be uh, spread between both our meat and our veg we have some ground rosemary cup of rice and you guys don't see me use stuff like this very often but this is um Lipton recipe secrets, onion. There's two cups of chicken broth made from better and bouillon, and uh, a new Seminole Swamp. This is not new to new to them, but new to new to us here. Seminole Swamp fire in a swamp. So I just mentioned uh, fire in a swamp, Seminole Swamp. I want to give a big shout out to all you guys that went over to purchase uh, Seminole Swamp seasoning on their website. And gave uh, a review on it as well as us a review because uh, like after seven years we've been uh, you know telling you about this project or this product uh, finally we did get some recognition from Seminole Swamp and they sent us a whole case over to, to use on the show so again thanks uh, Seminole Swamp and um, Jimmy Thunderbear uh, McDaniel over there for sending us a whole case of this looking forward to trying to fire in a swamp I did uh, taste it already. I, it's going to be just as good as any of the rest of it. Just a little spicier. So the only prep for this, after you got these ingredients together, is to season your chicken. And so we're just going to give it a good, uh, good shake of that fire in the swamp. Both sides of there. This is a super simple recipe, guys. We have nine coals on the bottom. I'm gonna put about a handful of this, this jowl bacon. Just start seasoning the pan. Put the lid on, then we're gonna go ahead and put our coals on top. This time we are using uh, Kingsford charcoal. Uh, this time we actually want this to burn down pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go to a quick start out with uh, a few extras on the top. Getting our 10 inch ready too for our veg over here. And I'm gonna show you that, the ingredients for that next. We just wanna get these, dovens, these Dutch ovens going nice and, uh, nice and hot right now. I can hear that uh, jowl bacon sizzling the way in there, starting to render. Told you this is gonna be simple, right? Gonna throw those chicken thighs in there, skin side down. And that nice uh, oil from the bacon, put that lid back on, give it just a couple minutes. What we're trying to do is just, uh, just brown the skin off just a little bit. It'll give your broth a better color.
ingredients. Salt, freshly cracked pepper. These are fire roasted diced tomatoes. About a quarter or uh, maybe a little more of chopped fresh green cabbage. Big cup of coarsely chopped sweet onions. Two large cloves, cloves of garlic and half a lemon. So we're in our uh, 10 inch Dutch oven. We already had that preheat and we already got our bacon. That's already rendered down nicely. So we'll go ahead and <laughs> the onions in first. So it's just been just a little minute there. Now it's time to go ahead and dump everything else in. Just like the other dish, this is a, a dump dish. Gonna dump in our cabbage. And it doesn't even matter what order you put these in. There's our tomatoes. Kind of spread that garlic out even over there. Or we can just dump it in. Now we got just a little bit of salt. A good pinch. Good pinch of freshly cracked uh, black pepper and a good squeeze. And I'm going to hold my hand on it so we ain't going to get any seeds in there. Good squeeze of lemon. That's going to preserve the color of your cabbage. Also going to give it a great flavor. And last but not least, a half of cup of chicken stock. Just to add to the moisture. Pretty much we're just going to poke this all down in there together. Like that. The lid back on. And just like with the other dish, don't worry about it. Go do your business. Go fishing, go hunting, go do what you want. Come back, going to be perfect. So while uh, this is all cooking, we don't have to deal with that no more. We're ready uh, for dinner when we get back. Uh, let's go walk in the woods a little bit. Let me show you a little place uh, right down here in the neighborhood um, called the Disney Wilderness Preserve. Y'all check this out. So guys, time for the plate, and as usual, we're going to do it up 
Backwoods Gourmet style. Let's come over and get one of our beautiful chicken thighs, some of that rice. And I, I, again, I, I always wish I could uh, bring smell vision into this whole situation here because it smells awesome. And then here's our, uh, our cabbage with the tomatoes and onions. Got to get a little bit of the broth on there. Put a little broth on the plate. Just like that. Doesn't really much need much garnish, but here, you know, we always got to do something special, so just going to go with some uh, chopped green scallions, fresh right out of the garden. And maybe just a dust of fresh rosemary right over the top of that. So there you go. Simple dust oven dish that anyone can make, even a beginner. So if you like to buy some of the gear that we use right here on the Backwoods Gourmet channel, please check out our link in the first comment to our Amazon store. We have a store there with all kinds of cast iron Dutch oven grilling and outdoor cooking gear there for you. Also, if you'd like to try out the Seminole Swamp Seasoning, I'm going to leave you the link right down there in the description box. You can click on there and you can buy it online. A great price and it's a great product. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there. To subscribe to our channel, you can do it right there. To see another great video by the Backwoods Gourmet, it's right up here. And for a whole playlist, cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, it's right up there. We'll see you next time.